In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own personal grade tracking tool that will become your very best friend in this class. You're in control of your grades completely in this course. Um, and as I've said before, tracking them is really important. So here's a super easy way you can do that. The first thing you want to do is open our Pick Your Grade Goal sheet. And if you don't know where that is, you'll find it in several different spots in our modules, but any time from any page in our course, all you have to do is click on the Grade Bundles button and that in the navigation menu here, and that will get you to it. Okay, so open it up. This is a Google Sheet. Now, if you are familiar with Google Docs, Google Sheets, awesome. You can use them and follow my instructions for that. If you aren't familiar with them, you can either choose to learn how to use them, which will require you to have a free Google account. Or you can simply go up here to File in the upper left corner and then go to Download and download it into a, a Microsoft Excel document if you have Excel on your computer. If you don't have Excel, um, particularly if you're a Mac user, doesn't come with, with Office, Microsoft Office, um, I recommend sticking with Google Docs. So to use Google Docs, again, you want to log into your Google account and you'll know you're logged in if you see your profile picture in the upper right corner here. If you don't see that, you'll see a little icon up there to sign in. Okay, so again, either you're going to download it as an Excel document and use that on your computer or you're going to follow the steps that I'm about to show you right now. Sign into Google and then go to File and select Make a Copy from the drop-down menu. Now in the Copy Document window, you want to change the name of your copy doc. So I'm going to delete that, what's there, and type in Michelle's Tracking Sheet. I strongly recommend putting your name in it so you know that you're looking at the right document, okay? Now, if you're familiar with the way Google Drive works, Drive is like the closet where all your Google Docs and Sheets go. You can choose the folder by clicking here and selecting something different, um, or you can just skip that. And I'll show you how to bookmark your sheets for later use. Now click the green OK button. Now you'll see that a new tab is opening with the name of my sheet. So this one over here is the classes grade goal sheet. And this one here is your very own. Pretty cool. Now, here's what I recommend that you do in your new sheet. Go into this box here, column F row four, and type my grade. Okay. Now, these are the assignments in the orientation module, right? So watch, I can now highlight those boxes, go up to insert, and choose checkbox. Now I've got my own checkbox, so when you go and open Canvas and go to the grades area, everything that you've got complete, you can put your own check mark in. So, what this would mean is that you've earned a check mark on everything except for this one. So don't check that off until it's done. And then once it is, come back to your grade sheet and check it off. And this is a simple way that you can do this for every module. Just insert your check marks or your check boxes and track your grades. Um, I do want to point out that those quiz grades do have to be a minimum of the grade um, bundle that you selected. So if you selected a grade bundle B, you have to earn at least a 17 on your quizzes. Okay, so don't check that box until you've met that criteria. It's really important to understand that you need to meet the criteria in your grade bundle column to earn that grade at the end of the class. Now I want to show you one more thing, um, and this will only work if you work on the same computer consistently with your classwork, okay? Um, if you fall into that category, this is a simple way to bookmark this sheet so it's easy for you to find. 
this only works in Chrome, sorry, I should have said that at the beginning. Um, at the top, in the where you see the address or the URL for the sheet, I'm going to click on that little lock icon and just drag it down into that area just below that section. And it creates a bookmark right there. So anytime, let's say you're in our class and you're thinking, oh, I need to go look at my grade sheet, you can just click over here. And so you'll notice that I have the, the a similar bookmark set up for our class. So um, hopefully that is something that you also find helpful. You can also go to drive.google.com and over on the left, click on Recent. And that will show you the most recent Google Docs and Sheets you've worked on. And that's an easy way to get to your um, sheet as well. Hope that helps.